Well, hello, my YouTube family. And I think he said hello as well. It's hot as blazes outside, so the AC is blasting. I'm waiting for it to kick in. And then it could be part hot flashes, too. You know, this woman getting older thing. I'm not fond. I'm not fond. Okay, people. It is Tuesday, August 9th, 2016. Let us get on with it. Eileen, I don't know what you didn't like about this, but I myself lo love this shade. I made it work, honey. Oh, I made it work. I made it work. Let us start off with the liner, and you're not going to believe the liner that I used. This liner is an NYX liner, retractable lip liner in red. NYX, I don't think you can see it because of the light, but it is red, lined. And, of course, one of the lippies that you got for me is the 600 Peachy Beach. That is Peachy Beach, right? Peachy Beachy, excuse me. 600 Peachy Beachy. Love it. Again, it's pulling the orange, but it is a more corally look on my lips. Although it looking orange on the screen looks rather nice, if I may say so myself. I don't know why I'm showing this to you again. I think I showed it to you just yesterday. But yeah, this is what it looks like right there. That's the actual shade right there. And there you have it, people. Peachy Beachy. This is a Rimmel Peachy Beachy. Uh, it is called the Only One lipstick. Thank you, Eileen. So there you go. Okay, people, I have things to tell you that I didn't, I was supposed to tell you yesterday, but I completely forgot. But let me show you something. This is for my father's birthday tomorrow. It's a cute card. I think you'll get a kick out of it. He likes little funny cards. So I got this card for him. This is Relax, it's just another birthday. Look at this sad, pitiful cat. <laughs> The cat part was for me. Okay. Relax. Just another birthday. And inside it says, you're not washed up yet. Have a happy day. I think you'll get a kick out of that. So, yeah. The good old Leo man. It's his birthday tomorrow. So, he will be. Oh, my goodness. I'm going to have to do the math. He'll be 84, I think. But let me do the math. Hold on, people. Hold on. He'll be 85. He'll be 85 tomorrow. Get my father getting on the He doesn't look a day over 60, I swear to God. So that is his birthday card and I did lips of the day. Now things that I had to tell you about. Yesterday I wore um I wore my true match powder but I wore my today is Tuesday, right? Okay, I wore my studio care blend on Monday. So I wore it yesterday. Yeah, I wore it yesterday. I'm sorry. I wore it yesterday. And I forgot to tell you, yay, nay, in the middle. It is kind of like this. It's kind of a yay in the middle. Why? I don't know if this happens. You guys have to let me know. I've heard of liquid foundations oxidizing. But do powder foundations oxidize on skin too? Because this one did on me. It went on really light and I was kind of disappointed oh no this is the studio sculpt hold on 
this, this, this. This is the Studio Care Blends. It went on. This is the Studio Care Blends. Now, it's my shade, but it went on a little too light. So I was kind of concerned when I put it all over my face. It looked, it didn't look ghostly, but it looked like you're not wearing a powder that's your skin tone, like immediately. But it was getting late and I couldn't change and I couldn't wash it off. And so I said, okay, I'm just going to go with it. Put the rest of my makeup on. By the time I got to work, I looked at my face again because, you know, we have different lighting. Looked at my face again and it was fine. It was like you saw me yesterday. It didn't look ashy. It didn't look, it looked fine. This thing oxidized on me in a good way, thank goodness. But has that, has that ever happened to any one of you who wear powder, powders in general or just powder as a foundation? Have they ever oxidized on you? Because this right here, it oxidized in a good way. So, you know, it's kind of like this. It's like, you know, thumbs up, but slightly in the middle. I love it because it went on really smooth. It is a smooth powder. Smooth, almost cream like but it's very, very nice. Very nice. But uh, yeah, it's the it's a first for me. I've had a I've had liquid foundations oxidize on me, but as for a powder, this is a first for me. Studio Care Blend. The one I'm wearing today is one that I thought I had worn before. Checked my old videos and no, I haven't worn it until today. True match powder. And this is a cool tone. I wear warm, cool, neutral, it doesn't matter. This one is in the color Nut Brown. I think I've spoken to you about Nut Brown before. So this is C7 Nut Brown, cool tone. Perfect, I love, I don't like the L'Oreal True Match blushes, but as for their powders, oh sweet Jesus, they are so good, so I'm very, very satisfied about that. Okay. And I also wanted to tell you, I don't think I told you about either one of these. One came on Sunday and I've had the other one for a while, but I don't know if I told you about it. These two, Rimmel Good to Glow Highlighters. They're, they're like cream, creamy liquid highlighters. I mix them with my, um, I mix them with this. I mix them with my Garnier moisturizer, my daily moisturizer. And you know, it just kind of like perks up the skin a little bit. But they're like regular highlighters that you use like a regular highlighter. One is in Notting Hill Glow, which is the one I used today. And no, the one I used today was, this one I used yesterday. Notting Hill Glow I used yesterday. And this is Piccadilly Glow, which I used today. You can't really tell because you know, the powders is covering it, but it kind of brightens up my face and the, the moisturizer, the daily moisture, the Garnier kind of, it just perks it. It doesn't give me an ashy cast, but it just kind of brightens my face a little. That's the best way I can exclude, explain it. I like these. These are nice. I like anything that I can mix with my foundations or mix with my daily moisturizer. These are okay in my book. So the one I used today was Piccadilly Glow. There's one called Soho Glow that Amazon had at one time. And I should have bought it. And now they no longer sell it. So I'm going to have to hunt it down because it's kind of, one is a, a um, pink, let me, well, let me, let me do a swatch for you. This is Piccadilly Glow. This is Piccadilly Glow. It's kind of like a bright pinky peach. And this one is Notting Hill Glow. And this one is like a, just a white, almost a white mix with kind of a champagne look, but it's basically a white highlighter. So Piccadilly Glow and um, Notting Hill Glow. And the other one is Soho Glow, which is kind of like a bronzer. It's kind of a, a dark tan. And I want that one too. 
but yeah so they're they're very nice they're very nice not too glittery they don't leave that much glitter like I just wiped it but you can't really see any glitter sometimes you wipe stuff that has glitter and you can still see the glitter these are like they wipe clean so when you wash your face you won't have any residue glitter I like that so there you go wanted to fill you in on these are the good to glow Rimmel illuminators highlighters they're, they're called highlighter highlighter slash illuminateur in French so there you go I mix them with my foundation or liquid foundation or I mix them with my daily moisturizer and there you have it so that is that with that upon that the highlighter that I'm wearing today is from the wild and radiant and I will show you the one I'm wearing is this this one this one this one no this one up here is my favorite one because it's kind of kind of rose goldy rose goldy ish but I'm wearing this one today very gold um this one is kind of like a white gold this one I don't know if I'll be wearing that one and this one I have yet to wear so I've only worn no no <laughs> it's backwards it's uh these this no this one and this one there you go those two I like these a lot so why the hell am I you know I don't even I don't even okay so yeah I don't need another highlight or another bronze I really don't so there you go wild and radiant love this palette I really do I absolutely every time I look at it it's like oh I really like these colors I really really do so okay so all right so today was wear a baseball jersey day and you could tell from the piping of the shirt that I'm wearing a jersey and it's the reason why I'm wearing a yellow headband because it matches the yellow I've got a yellow stripe over here tomorrow is wear red t-shirt day now you all know hello so I'm either it's it's either two things I'm gonna do I'm gonna probably wear I'm probably gonna wear a red lipstick or I will do a nude lip because I noticed that reds go I mean nudes go very nicely with red who knew well I guess a nude lip can go with anything really that you wear so I'm gonna I'm gonna probably yeah because I still have two two red lipsticks to show you so of course I'm gonna wear a red lip probably apple crisp so look out for that other than that people you know nothing else is going on the Olympics what the Olympics did anybody watch um what's his name Michael Phelps this is my Michael Michael Phelps right swim did anybody see when that other dude who had beat him four years ago was taunting him while they were waiting for their turn to swim he was doing a boxing thing all in front of Michael Michael was chilly willy he was listening to his music he had the you know he had a face on like you're not impressing me in the least I'm not afraid of you dude you beat him once in 2012 okay you got one gold medal I'm sorry Michael Phelps has 26 medals so you think you're gonna impress him or intimidate him in any kind of way what sit down little boy just sit down he irked me so badly he irked me the way he wanted to irk Michael but Michael was like, yeah, and well, so. And of course, the media wanted to make a big thing about it. And when they interviewed Mike after the swim meet, it was the semifinal for tonight's final. And of course, that guy beat, no, 
He came in third. That guy who beat him, the guy who was acting like an asshole, him. He came in third. Mike came in second. I'm calling him Mike like I know him. Um, so they're going to be swimming tonight against each other, and I think they're standing next to each other also. The guy must be intimidated by Michael Phelps for some reason. No, not, not for some reason. For the 26 medals reason. That's the reason why you intimidated by him. That's why you're trying to get under his skin. Michael couldn't give a rat's ass about your sorry self. So sit down. You are making a fool of yourself. Like, really, you're making a fool of yourself. Sit down. Little boy just... Because he always looked up to Michael Phelps and, you know, that was his idol. Yeah, but if he's your idol, you should be treating him with some respect. Instead, you're trying to mock him. You're trying to one-up him. Sit down. So, yeah, that is a swim meet that tonight. That is a swim meet that I am so looking forward to. So looking forward to. So I am enjoying my Olympics very much so because I get to watch them at work as well. I don't know anything about what's going on with Hillary. I don't know anything about what's going on with Trump. I could not care less. For these next two weeks, I don't want to hear the madness. I want to see countries get together and compete honestly and cleanly and, and just, you know, the Olympics, baby. The Olympics. I love, love me some Olympics. I've been in this house for two Olympics now. 2012. Speaking of which, no, I've been in the Olymp here for three Olympics, the 2012 Olympics, the 2014 Winter Olympics, and these, these Olympics. So, yeah, I've been here for three Olympics, 2012, 2014, 2016, yep. Yeah. It's every two years there's an Olympics, but it's every four years for every season. Do you understand? Like... Four years ago was the summer, and that was 2012. Then 2014 was the Winter Olympics. Now 2016 is the Summer Olympics again. 2018 will be the next Winter Olympics. So you see how it goes? So every four years is the Summer Olympics. Every four years is the Winter Olympics. Got it? Good. Okay, people, that's it. That's all. I have nothing else to talk to you about. I wrote everything that I was going to talk to you about. Showed you my dad's birthday card. I'll give it to him tomorrow. I'll leave it in the mail slot tomorrow. So when he opens the door, he'll see something waiting for him. And um, that's basically it in a nutshell. I've got videos to catch up on. <sighs> but it's kind of hard because I think the Olympics start at 7, 7.30 or something. So I really kind of miss an hour. No, I don't. They start at 8. They start at 8. So I try to watch as much as I can before 8 o'clock. I try to catch up on Facebook. I try to catch up on, you know, any Twitter, twi any tweets. I don't really tweet. I answer tweets or I post two other tweets, but I never really make tweets myself. So I don't know if anybody's looking for me. I don't, mm, yeah, I'm not a tweeter, really. I tweet to others if that makes any sort of sense. So I catch up on that and, you know, v videos that I haven't seen. So I try to do that. So that's basically it, really. Um, no stories for you today. Uh, yes, I did go to lunch at 2 o'clock because it was um, Newest Girl, not New Girl, Newest Girl. So, uh, yeah, she was on the ball today, 2 o'clock sharp. I know it's lunch, people, but it, you know, it's a long time between 9 a.m., especially when you leave the house and you don't have breakfast, and I didn't order breakfast today. 9 a.m., so it's really 6.30 in the morning, because that's when I wake up, and I don't have, so it's 6.30 until 2 o'clock in the afternoon that I have to wait until lunchtime. Now, of course, nobody's forcing me to wait. I can order breakfast, and sometimes I do. Matter of fact, yesterday I did, but today I did not. And I don't think I will be anymore, really. If I want to have breakfast, I better have like a cup of coffee before I leave here. 
because I got to tell you people, now I don't know if you're noticing, but I'm definitely noticing. My face is getting rounder and I'm beginning to lose my breath faster. Like whenever I walk, I'm breathing heavy and not that my clothes are tighter in any kind of way, although some are, but I'm just like, it's, I'm beginning to feel heavy. When I start to feel this way, it's like, okay, you got to really, enough of the dominoes, you got to reel it back until I feel comfortable again. I'm not feeling comfortable. And when I start to breathe heavy, like for the slightest thing, I could get up from the sofa and walk to the kitchen and I'm out of breath. Like, no, Nancy, uh, that is not good. So, and I know it's because I'm just, I'm, I'm not really eating the way I should. It's really, it's, it's basically, the, it's not even really so much exercise because I've never really been one for exercise, but I've been able to kind of sustain my weight if that's even possible, because I am really constantly moving around. I'm not jogging or anything, but I am constantly in motion, except at night when it's almost time to go to sleep. So, you know, the body rests. But from the time the alarm goes off at 6.30 in the morning, I'm on the move. I'm going, I'm going, I'm going, putting on makeup, getting dressed, going, going to work, going upstairs, going downstairs, you know, so I'm constantly on the move. But now, I'm feeling, and it's because I've been eating very, very poorly. And I've been eating really bad. So that's the reason why I'm feeling kind of like, <gasps> like I'm feeling kind of like that. And that's not right. So I'm going to have to reel it back. And that includes not eating breakfast. Because what have I been ordering for breakfast? Corn muffins, um, buttered roll with bacon. I mean, you need to stop. So I'm going to really nip that in the bud. I can order breakfast every once in a while, but I'm, I, I've been abusing myself. It's like, oh, I got a little money. Let me order breakfast. No, Nancy, get your cup of coffee. And the coffee really, you know, it, it, it nips the appetite in the bud. So I can have my, you know, my little Swiss mocha or my little cafe francais, and I can have that, and that'll hold me until lunch, believe it or not. It'll hold me until lunch. So I really need to start doing that. At least I'll have something in my stomach. And then I can go to work. I'll have something in my stomach. It'll get me going. And I do what I have to do. And of course, I, my the job that I'm in is also sedentary because I'm sitting down most of the day. But like I said, I am constantly in motion because even though I'm not up away from my desk, every now and then, which I haven't been doing either, I like to take a walk around my desk, I, you know, kind of like a little exercise, walk around my desk, just kind of do a couple of laps. I'll look out the window. I'll see, you know, what the, the atrium looks like, who's having lunch, because I can see all of that from where I'm sitting and who's walking around and just, and then I'll come, you know, if the phone starts to ring, I'll come back to my seat and I answer the phone. But I haven't even been doing that because I've been a lazy ass. So I need to stop doing that. I need to start doing that again and stop being so damn lazy. So I'm very ashamed of myself. So I'm going to have to, come on, Nancy. Let's uh, tighten the lip. And here's the thing. For lunch, I'm not, I'm not really abusing lunch that much because like today, I had a chicken hero. And when I say a chicken hero, I mean like the hero bread. Bread, all, bread, all that bread isn't all that good for me either. But I had grilled chicken, onions, jalapenos, and balsamic vinegar, balsamic vinaigrette on top. And for for a drink, I had um, like seltzer water with lime, seltzer water with lime. So I'm trying to stay away from the juices. I'm, uh, ginger ale, I don't think is that fattening. So I can alternate every now and then. I like to drink my salsa water, but if I want a little taste in my mouth, I'll get uh, ginger ale. That's another thing I've been abusing, though, because before, before I realized that I'm really getting heavy, I was drinking a whole bunch of sodas again. And I told myself once upon a time, I said, you're going to have to nip the sodas in the bud because they're, they've got lots of sugar and they make you gain weight. Oh, cherry Pepsi, cherry Pepsi, cherry Pepsi, orange crush. That's what I was having with my lunch. 
just abusing myself. I don't even know why. But now that I see the results, it's like, oh, okay. Okay. And at least I know what I'm doing so I can retract from all of that madness. So I'll have a club soda, which is salsa water, or I'll have a ginger ale. Ginger ale I like to have with my lunch because you never know. And sometimes my stomach is a little upset and the ginger ale just calms me down. And here's another thing. Today I had a, a really bad back ache, which of course probably contributes to the weight gain. So all, I've got all of these signs and I'm paying attention, thank God. So now I'm going to reel it back. If I have to have grilled chicken for the rest of the week, which I probably will have. I may not have it on breads so much. The thing is, by the time I get down there, 2 o'clock, the salad bar is there's like one piece of lettuce here. So I can't really have a salad. And I really kind of wanted a salad. And I don't eat salad. Nancy does not do salads. But if I ask Jose to chop up some grilled chicken for me and put it on a salad, I can have a chicken salad. So I am actually trying, but sometimes, you know, at 2 o'clock, the salad bar is empty as hell. So, you know, I'm having grilled chicken, but it's on heavy bread. But it's better than nothing. So I, I, I'm not going to have just grilled chicken and nothing. So, yeah. I'm trying, people. I'm trying. At least I'm well aware. I'm not, I'm not wearing blinders on because I'm feeling like I really shouldn't be feeling. So, you know, for the rest of this month, Nancy's going to do what she needs to do and, uh, you know, just chill. Just reel it back. Just reel it the hell back. And try not to go through the drive through so much. That didn't help either. I am cooking, so. I did. The last shopping that I did, I'm, I've still got food. So there you go. Okay, people, that's it, really. That's all. That's all I have to tell you. That's all there is to say. It's almost going on half an hour, so you know me in my mouth. Um, again, lips of the day, me likey a lot. Thank you, Eileen. Thank you so much, because I really enjoy this look so much. So thank you very much for that. Okay, people, I love you. I love my YouTube family. Hit me up. Let me know what you think, and I will talk to you tomorrow. Mwah. Bye now.